Alright, so I had a request on some info on my frame jig. Somebody was wanting to build one, so I figured I'd make a video about it. So, you're going to want to obviously go to a steel yard and get all your your square tubing that you'll need for this. The, thickness, or the wall thickness on all these parts are 3 16 wall. And you're going to need roughly three sizes. And depending on what you're working on will decide what size to start with. The total length for the two main run arms of mine are 15 inches. That can change. They come in 20 foot sticks where I got my steel from. So you might want to base your, your dimensions as far as your lengths and widths of everything on what size lengths you can get of steel. They should all come in 20 foot lengths I believe. But the lengths of mine are 15 foot. Two of them, obviously. Since I had five foot cut off of two of these sticks, I used those two five foot pieces for the width, I believe. Now I have four cross beams going across. Yep, five foot. So there's one five foot. There are four of those. Now my main beam width, I believe is two inch. Yep, two inch from my main. Then, since it's 3 16th wall, you go in half inch increments. The next one is two and a half. These right here, the sliders. Now you can make it however you want. I made it mine fully adjustable in case I ever work on something else. I can always adjust it to my needs. It can be welded once you get it fitted if you want, however, but I use these big three quarter inch nuts and bolts. Got them all at Tractor Supply. What you'll have to do is get a big ass drill bit, drill you a hole, line up your nut, weld the nut on, use your three quarter bolt as your locking mechanism. And you're gonna torque the shit out of these. But anyways, two and a half of these. I didn't make enough of these originally. I had to go back and cut more. There's a lot of them. I believe there's 14 per side on mine, and you might need more, depending on how many braces you have. So, two inch beams, two and a half inch slider arms. These arms here are two inch for the, the main slider, and then I went smaller on the, on the uh, verticals because I didn't really need that I could use the Pretty much I just made this just for what I had. I knew this had to be two and a half to be able to slide over this, and this had to be two to slide into this. I could have used a smaller one here, welded to this. I just chose to make them identical. It's what I had left over. These are inch and a half. Obviously this is two inch, so the inch and a half can slide into it. Onto these, these are two inch as well, because they're the leftovers of the long beams. And all of my arms should be the same. So it's two and a half into a two inch female and one and a half inch lifts. And the way I did these, it's angle iron up top, welded around this, and the angle iron on these are I believe two inch. Yep, two inch. They're probably three, six, three sixteenths as well. The top of it has a plate welded to it with a bolt running through it going into my frame rail. That was the most solid way. There's a hole drilled on the top and one hole drilled on the side so it can mount depending on however you want it. These arms lengths will depend on how high you want to raise your car. Same thing with these. These wheels. This arm here will depend on how high you want it. These are inch and a half. They don't have to be real strong for my application because I have no weight on it. The plates are three inch by four inch and they are quarter inch. I had quarter inch plate, that's what I used. Wheels are just off of Amazon. Just search polyurethane casters. You want something that can hold the weight of what you're mounting to the, the jig, obviously. I think these support 250 pounds a piece, maybe 300 pounds a piece. They're overkill, pretty much. Uh, this car shouldn't be that heavy. I mean, the chassis, without anything, should be under 1,000 pounds easily. At least I would think that. Maybe not. 
but I think they're 250 or 300 pound casters. All right, on to the rest of it. Same thing, like I said, all these sliders and lifters are the same. The way I did these is I just ground a notch at the top so that the pinch well can sit inside them. These are mainly supports. They're not really to hold the car down. What you can do, which is one thing I've done before, I used these end pipes to strap the car down, just hooking around or looping around around the bar and then strapping to the car, or you can run the strap through the, like across the rockers like I had before, and then around the beams to strap the car down. I also strapped it before right here in the bolt holes for the doors and just hooked onto this bolt. Front's the same way, so you have I made my, my wheels with a female on top so I could have my cross brace on the wheels, but I also made other cross braces that don't have anything. And the reason for that was if I ever needed to put a jack on one of these cross beams, I could lift on a section of the car if need be, but they also add some stability. So I actually think I have a, one more set of these sliders and one more cross beam just in case I need it not on the car right now I only have three cross beams on the car front is the same thing in the back so I have two pinch weld ones and the lengths of these I think are a foot yeah they're roughly a foot on these a little bit shorter because I think I ran out of material so a foot on these these side arms are a foot these arms here are a little bit longer these arms are 18 inches. That allows me enough play. These arms here, I think, are 16. Let's see if I can get a better picture. So that's 16 inches on these arms with another four inch plate, I think, angle plate welded on the end. Uh, actually a little longer, about four and a half, almost five inch. Yeah, they're right at five inch actually for these lip, these angle iron plates. And these angle iron plates again are two inch. So it's two inch plate slider, obviously two and a half uh, main beam sliders. It's a two inch arm, I mean, or inch and a half arm. So inch and a half arm, two inch angle over it, two inch slider on the end of this arm, and two inch square tubing for the uh, horizontal adjustment. The sliders I made are four inches. All top and bottom are both four inches. You need a ton of these bolts. I don't remember the count exactly, You'll, depending on how many sliders you make, obviously you need two per slider. So two per slider and then one for every arm that you have like this, this here, and so on. And I have a lot of ink of square tubing left over from this build, and some of it's left over from the rotisserie, which is here. The car will soon be hitting that. This rotisserie, if you want to know the specs on it, I think I made a video on it, but it's a bit beefier. It's three inch square tubing with two and a half arms. Here's the quarter plate that I was talking about that I had. Quarter plate for the gussets. But the main body is three inch. And then the arms are two and a half. And obviously it has sliders as well for the mounting arms that go to the bumper bracket areas. And you'll need Schedule 80 pipe for it. Schedule 80, I don't remember the sizes of. I think this is roughly four inch yeah four inch and it's probably like three and a half or three and three quarter inner but they have to made up pretty tight to be able to make a good seal in there for it not to have slop and be able to rotate smoothly same thing big ass lock bolt and the only the way this was done was schedule 80 cut in two places this front one's welded on, I believe, to the, the pivot on the inside. And then it slips in through this 
and then the other one slips onto the back and has a drill hole with a bolt on it to lock it in place to keep it from falling out. The only thing I got left to do to it is add a leveler, which is just a piece of like one inch all thread with a nut on it and allows you to raise and lower this arm before you lock it in with this plate so that it can balance the car to rotate smoothly by hand and not have to use a crank or a, like a breaker bar to rotate it. But hopefully that answers your questions. If you have any more, ask away. If you need more in-depth specs, let me know. I can get you the actual count. But I pretty much just drew out everything and then based the links off of what I could get cost effective out of the 20 foot lengths of this square tube. And, but again, everything's 3 16th wall. You need that so that they make together without a whole lot of slop. 3 16 like your ideal size. But, all right, thanks.